It used to be that our solar system had nine planets. The four inner rocky planets, the outer gas and ice giants, and of course, Pluto. Everything was going just fine. Until August 2006, that is. The worst year in Pluto's life. The International Astronomical Union, or IAU for short, made the historic decision to downgrade Pluto from a full-sized planet to a dwarf planet. As the organization governing and upholding the rules of astronomy, why on earth would the IAU do this? Well, by the 21st century, it became obvious that there were simply too many astronomical bodies discovered in our solar system. And instead of deciding to have literally hundreds of planets, the IAU updated the rules for what makes a planet, well, a planet. To be considered a full planet, a body must meet three rules. It must be in orbit around our sun. It's massive enough to take on a mostly round or spherical shape. It must clear the neighborhood around its orbit. Pluto indeed orbits our sun because, like all planets in our solar system, it's locked in the sun's powerful gravity, even though it orbits 3.7 billion miles out. Pluto has just 0.002 of the Earth's mass, which makes sense considering it's only about 1,400 miles across, or about half the width of the United States. But even a body this size has enough gravity to pull in lots of material. And as bodies, like Pluto, pull in material from all directions in toward their center, they take on a spherical shape. And finally, as a planetary body forms, it must clear out the neighborhood in its orbit. Planets can clear their neighborhood by being massive enough to be gravitationally dominant. That way, all other cosmic bodies nearby will either be pulled in and consumed, or flung away by the body's gravitational influence. And while Pluto checks off rules number one and two, it does not clear its own neighborhood. Even after hanging around the sun for more than four billion years, it hasn't moved its neighbors out. So Pluto and five other planets unable to meet the IAU's three rules are classified as dwarf planets. Nevertheless, for many of us, Pluto will always be our solar system's one and only ninth planet. R.I.P. Pluto.